welcome to a very special edition of the Pope on Film. I'm Bunny Williams. For years, an evil has existed in the Galindo household. An unseen evil. A lurking evil. But today, finally, Caught on audio, the Pope on Film brings you Emerald Galindo. What Michael Bay? I said Kiss okay, was like I Michael you Bay. Were say Michael what? Sarah and no, Kiss is not like Michael Sarah. Kiss. No, it would. No, Emerald, you have a really good point. <laughs> if Kiss was like Michael Sarah, that would be awesome. Oh, oh hey guys, no. we're we're Kiss, and uh, uh, we're gonna play a song for you now. Uh, it's called Shout It Out Loud, and we hope you we hope you like it. Uh, shout it. Shout it, shout it out loud. No. <laughs> that is an awesome Michael Sarah impression that I just that I just whipped out. Thank you, Emerald. We will be right back after this. No, I'm totally keeping that part. Like you appeared on the show. You're like you're like the Loch Ness monster of this show. You appeared, and now we're gonna keep you on because that'll make this like a rare episode. People are already speculating as to whether or not you really exist. Yeah, yeah, it's a huge thing. There's a lot of, like, uh, fan fiction for you, which will probably be turned into the next Fifty Shades of Grey, because that's how fan fiction works. No, it's not. Yes, it does. That's how (laughs) fan fiction works. I wrote this book about Kirk and Spock doing it. I just rewrote some of the names, and you know what it is now? Game of Thrones. That's how it works now, Emerald. And there have been some really interesting correlations between Emerald and the JFK assassination. Oh my god, Emerald. Where were you in 1960? You were getting around? (sighs) Emerald, have you been hanging out behind grassy knolls? Anyway, we will be right back. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Emerald does not like being a part of the show. Uh, so, you know, when you're editing, if you could just keep her in here, that would be awesome. So for all of our listeners, though, uh, you can contact Emerald through our email, uh, at undeadcow.com. Yes, yes. If you have any questions for Emerald, my 13-year-old Thank daughter. Thank you. Possibly an eight by ten glossy autograph. Yeah. yeah. If you have any questions about her, or her feelings regarding things, if you really have any questions for her, feel free to to hit us up on uh, our Facebook page or email us or check out our Stitcher because that's a thing. And for our more rabid Pope on Film fans, I think that there should be started a Facebook movement. Uh, and try to get up some, some steam and see if we can get Emerald on the cover of Tiger Beat. Tiger Beat, yes. Stop. A classic magazine about... Well-respected uh, magazine. About hitting tigers. 
with yeah. clubs. Not just really just beating the crap out of them. <laughs> right up there, right up there with a baby seal clubbing magazine is Tiger Beat magazine. Uh, who is uh, who is Emerald's favorite band? <laughs> Emerald, if it's not Kiss. Who's your favorite band? Uh, no. No, 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 no. Who's your favorite band? I don't have one. Oh, did you say the Wiggles? She said her favorite no. band is the Wiggles. Stop. The Wiggles. Um, I never said that. The Wiggles. Well, then, what's your favorite band? I don't know. So the if so, the only one which, that I can think of when I'm asked that question is Fall Out Boy, and I'm not even sure about that. Which she, anybody who is who is now out there, any of our fans who are out there, who is now working on the uh, Emerald Galindo uh, Wikipedia page, the Wiggles. Okay, the Wiggles. so that's going to be an important fact. Possibly Fall no, Out. It's, if it's, she's not it's, sure. It's on the podcast, so no citation needed. Okay. Yeah, it it is Wikipedia, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no citation. <laughs> you both. About that. Oh, uh, Emerald said that her second favorite band is Screw You Both. Screw I, You I Both. I've heard of them. I'm assuming that they're from Britain. Emerald, who is your favorite serial killer? Emerald, who is your favorite serial killer? Stop. I don't know. She said Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch. Crunch. He was Commander quite- Crunch, really. He was quite diabolical. Yeah. I never trusted. I never trusted Oops All Berries. Yeah. They made, though, based off of it. What? That game they made based off of Captain Crunch? Are you talking about um, Halo? Stop. No. Um, No? (laughs) No. What game are you talking about? Nana's computer. The longest time. I don't remember. I was upset. Captain oh. Crunch version of Truth or Dare. Truth or Crunch. Yeah. Truth or Crunch. Yeah. Nice. Seven oh. Crunch Berries in Heaven. <laughs> Five Nights in the Captain's Quarters. <laughs> Did you just call Five Nights at Freddy's <laughs> FNAF? Did you just say FNAF 4 is coming Shut up? out? I always abbreviate it. I didn't mean to actually 4. call it that. I'm sorry. FNAF 4. Oh, my God. I cannot <laughs> imagine you, Emerald. I can't imagine. I, I talk because I, I work at a bookstore in Oklahoma. I talk with a lot of elderly white people. And one of the things that we talk about a lot is this. I can't imagine growing up with the technology that is available to you. I got on the internet for the first time when I was like 19 or 20. I can't imagine getting on the internet for the first time when you're like one. I can't imagine growing up with the existence of YouTube. I can't imagine growing up just going, oh yeah, FNAF 4 just came Shut out. FNAF 4? Oh my god. Hey, Hawkeye, FNAF 4 Stop. just came out. Hawkeye. No, I said something. I have no idea what you just said, Jaden. Tonight. Yeah, okay. Can, can we find out what her favorite manga is? What is your favorite manga? Would it be uh, Attack on Titans? Okay, I refuse to answer it because you said manga, and I prefer pronouncing it manga. Did you really just do that? Did you really just try and school Bunny on the way that manga is pronounced? I, I-, I could have sworn your father told me last week you say it manga. I don't mm. care. I fluctuate. I prefer yeah, manga, though. I do. <laughs> so who is your favorite manga? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Emerald. Who does manga good? Manga. <laughs> Who is my favorite manga? I believe what Bunny meant to say was, "What is your favorite manga?" But what what would your favorite manga be? Naruto. Naruto. Or Attack on she said Naruto Michael. or Attack on Titan. Why Interesting. Do you care? No, stop. Go back to your podcast. Michael. Because people care about you, Michael. Bella. Michael. I'm Emerald. Wow. Okay. Emerald. Uh, Emerald. Dude. Okay. If you had to drive one animal species into existence, 
into extinction so that all other animal species would be saved. What geese. animal? Geese. 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 They can suck it. Geese can suck it. That's another one for the Wikipedia page. Emerald Galindo fucking hates goddamn geese. Flipper geese are listening. Oh, hold on, Bella. If you do not pull that and put it in the beginning of the podcast, then I will riot. Fuck geese. Fuck geese. And you know what? Fuck geese and fuck the geese army. You know what? You know what? I have another. I have another. I, I have. I have another thing for my list. Um, Kiss. They're the geese of music. They are the geese of music. Uh-huh. Because fucking geese. <laughs> really, geese can suck it. Speaking of geese sucking it, Japanese website right there. Yeah, geese once raped my pet Komodo dragon. So fuck geese. Okay. Fuck geese. Uh, How many times have I said that? Um, How many times have I said that? Yes, Maxwell? Maxwell, what are your feelings on geese? Um, I like geese. You like geese, Jeremy Renner? Yeah. Put that on Wikipedia, Jer- I, I, uh, uh, I people. Jeremy you. Renner loves That's geese. Good. Yes, Maxwell, what do you have to say to the podcast? Well, when I go to school, the geese punch me. When Maxwell goes to school, geese will punch him. Me too. Because that's you the kind of friggin' cock sucking low life scum bastards that geese are. That geese are. That they'll punch no, a small I innocent child like that. So I got oh, hey, what's your name, Maxwell? Let me punch you in the face. Pow! I'm a geese! I don't. I don't. <laughs> I'm a geese's. I'm a geeseite. I'm a geeseian. I don't follow your rules. The two most dangerous groups on our planet right now, and something has to be done about this, are geese and teabaggers. And Mexicans. Oh, wait, what'd you say? Geese and teabaggers. <laughs> Jaden, you laughed way too loud when I mentioned Mexicans. Geese and what? You racist SOB. Geese and what? Teabaggers. Oh, yeah. Teabaggers. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Teabaggers. Uh-huh. Mexicans are still on the list, but you've slipped down to oh, five. Yeah. 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 We're, we're down there a little bit. Yeah. We're down there a little bit. Because Donald Trump is three and four. Because he's that big of a douchebag. Bad big. Douchebags are hygienic. I take that as a compliment. Good day to you. <laughs> Show me the fever. And to the fire. Taking it higher and higher. You pronounced it wrong. You Maxwell and I are really excited for the Wet Hot American Summer TV show. You pronounced show. it wrong. What did I pronounce wrong, Bella? It's douche waffle. Douche waffle. There you go. That can be your catchphrase. You, you take that. So, Emerald, Emerald. If you were chosen for a top secret mission in which you would have to go back in the past, steal a figure from history's shoes, and beat them to death with it, what historical figure would that be? Oh my god, this is a very problematic question, and I prefer not to answer. Here we go. They're, they're historical figures. You're not going to offend them. My first thought was George Washington. Oh, no. George Washington? You would beat him to death with his shoes? He was not a good guy. <laughs> he was not a good guy. Oh, my. No. I. No. Why, why was he not a good guy? Uh, wait, wait, wait. A lot of reasons. He broke into the Watergate Hotel. It was yeah. his fault. 9 11 happened. It was. I mean, a lot. I, I got I bet he supports the gays. That he supports what? I bet he supports the gays. I, I got for a mm, George Washington? I, I think he was gay, wasn't he? Was, weren't there rumors about him and Ben Franklin? I think. I thought so. Shut up! George, uh, ben Franklin was the bear, and George Washington was the twink. <laughs> She just said okay. She said it quietly, though. Yeah, well, I'm sure if you heard podcast. Yeah, as soon as she can sneak away, she'll go Google Twink. What's a Twink? 
She just rolled her eyes at you because it's that obvious well. from her facial expression that she knows exactly what a twink is. Where'd you learn that, Emerald? <laughs> on the schoolyard? Did you learn it on the schoolyard? Wait, okay. Dear. Have the other kids been filling you up with okay, with dear. with uh, knowledge? Or have they been filling you up with Twinkies? <laughs> Are you all out there during recess do, taking goof calls and discussing <laughs> obscure gay communities? <laughs> If that's what you want us to do. I, I, I would kind of think that that would be our hope for the future, actually. Yeah. In fact, I believe the children are our future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. Her. She doesn't want me to touch her. And for every drop of rain that falls, a flower grows. And every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. Wait, what? No, nobody's killing childs, Bella. You're like a child who wanders aimlessly into a movie and wants to know. Hmm. Emerald, how many pictures of Justin Bieber do you have in your room? Absolutely none. You keep them under the mattress in that case? What? You keep them under the mattress in that case? No. She said she said absolutely nuns. So she has nothing but pictures of nuns on her wall. Ah, uh-huh. Accurate. What you say? Mother Teresa, the singing nun. Um yeah. uh-huh. what's Sister, her name? Sister Patrill. Um Whoopi Goldberg in Sister Act. Yes. Not Sister Act too, because that was crap. Yeah, no. Eric Idle. Eric Idle. Oh, Eric Idle. Oh, oh. And Hagrid. And Tia and Tamara Maori. They were a uh, sister sister. Yeah. They had their own show. They were black twins. Emerald, this has been a really enlightening conversation. I don't know. I, I feel like I know you so much better now. I, I, I found I found it really kind of uh, surprising that Emerald, Emerald hates Jews as much as she does. It sounded like you called her Hemerald. <laughs> like the hemorrhoid Emerald. Well, yes. Hemerald, Hitler, Himmler. Yes, this all goes together. You see where the pieces connect. Don't be so blind. I do paint. Hitler was, Hitler was a great painter. <laughs> Hitler was an okay painter. You really would have to go and take a look at some of them. <laughs> I know. Hitler was no Bob Ross, Emerald. Yeah. Hitler wasn't like, I'm going to yeah. paint a happy little tree right here. Yeah, yeah. Most of them were paint by numbers. Yeah. Paint by numbers. Paint by numbers. Some of his, some of his best work, though. If you really want to see the good Hitler painting, there is a series, and they'll occasionally tour it, uh, where he's done these amazing paintings of of kids with really, really big eyes. You seem like you're really familiar with Hitler. And 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 sad clowns. <laughs> uh, I am. He was my uncle. Uncle, Uncle Hitler. Hitler. Uncle Hitler, yeah. He Uncle was the one you, you would have to invite him for Thanksgiving, but nobody ever wanted him to really show. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe now. Okay, we really should take a break because I really need to pee. <laughs> okay. Emerald Galindo will accept your adoration, but don't expect her to acknowledge your existence. <laughs>